I kindly exercise a little patience, if you please. Oh, good morning. We're a bit early on parade, I'm sure. We're not open for business yet, you know. It's all right, I only want my shoes. And if you're going to say we don't sell them, don't. There's enough comics at our house. What are you children about, lad? I want my shoes. What shoes? Your daughter's got some very funny ideas about party games. Now, it might have been a native custom when you were both out fighting the fuzzy wuzzies, but I'm not going to work on a 53 bus in my slippers. I still don't think I'm with you, Dennis. What were you doing at Alexandra's party improperly dressed? Showing the holes in my socks most of the time. Now, can I go up? It's a very peculiar how do you do the old issue. How did you get home with no foot? Well, I swung from branch to branch. Now, look, I've got a bacon sandwich going cold at home. Just let me go upstairs. You know, Dennis, you? there are times when I don't understand the modern generation. I me neither. Well, off you go, then. Oh. Give her a knock, though, before you make entrance. She's still up there beautifying herself. Apply with a circular motion. Push from throat to point of chin. Allow pores to tighten and allow skin to absorb the cream. Next week, tantalising toenails now to make them the talk of the beach. Oh, won't be a sec, Dad. I'm not your dad. What do you want? I'm not decent. Why? What are you doing? I'm letting my paws tighten. Oh, well, can I have my shoes, then? What shoes? Oh, yeah, that's right. Are you still there? I can't find them. Oh, Look, can I come in? Someone's melted a chocolate bar all down me Donovan. Who no, you mustn't I... see me. I'm not presentable. Oh, just open the door, then take a running jump under the table. You can come in now. The door's open. Has a bomb dropped? In olden days, gentlemen used to have breakfast in ladies' boudoirs. Uh, no, thank you. I've got a bit of butty going cold at all. Uh, uh. It were a fair party, weren't it? Oh, great. I'll have you not be late for work. We must do it again sometime. They're all a green suede, and one of them wants soul in an ealing. You didn't mind the others being there, did you? I mean, us not being alone together. What are they doing up there? By the way, while you're here, do you want your handkerchief? My handkerchief? What? Why, where is it? It's under my pillow. My handkerchief? I nicked it out of your pocket while you was limbo dancing under the clothesline. It's got lipstick on it. It's mine. Mexican fire, it's called. At the risk of getting a daft answer, might I inquire just how your lipstick got onto my handkerchief? I smeared it on after you'd gone. I was going to show it to her and the others after. What for? Well, it costs nothing to dream, does it? No. I was going to let it slip out, sort of accidental-like, and then they'd think that you and me had been... Dennis? Dennis, where are you, Dennis? <laughs> You can say what you like. They were not worth watching on telly last night. I saw my fill of Merlot Beyond 20 years since. Yes. Well, it just so happens that last night, Merlot Beyond was giving one of the most sensitive performances of her career. Yeah, away. It was donkey's years old. I saw the same picture at the old Hippodrome when they let forces in half price. Not with me, you didn't. Uh, oh. Oh, well. indeed. Oh, well, that just shows you. Must be even older, then, before I met you. The only film you saw before you met me, Jack, was Al Jolson in The Singing Fool. Oh, admit it, love. Honestly, didn't she bring a lump to your throat last uh, night? Oh, morning, love. Morning. Mrs Ogden, were you privileged to see Merle Oberon on television last night? Would oh, you mind if I talked to you after, Mrs Walker? Only I've not come to yet. What with our Irma traipsing in at midnight and knocking all the milk bottles flying while she were at it. Oh, dear. And then Stan going up at four this morning, Dragging all the blankets with him, slamming every door in the house. Oh, dear. Oh, that's not what I said. Pulling some little pieces, carry on, unless it's me. Oh, sorry, Mrs Sharples, we're not open yet. Not buying, I'm selling, and you can keep the brass until I come back. Then if I'm spent up, I'll be sure of the milk stout. <laughs> when is it going off? Tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow, one o'clock. Flight 593 from Ringway is what it's known as. Oh, flight 593, she says, just like that. Just like it were a bus ride to Bellevue or something. 
Go on, aren't you all of a flutter? Here, I'll be back. I'll do a knees up Mother Brown down the cart road for you. <laughs> Go on, you must be a bit excited. Well, I must say, my legs are wobbling when I'm not noticing, I'll grant you that. <laughs> you keep as calm as you can, Mrs Sharples. No point in getting overexcited. No, that's right. Somebody's got to keep a tight hold on their emotions. Well, why? Your tongue's all right, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's Minnie Colwell. She couldn't be in a bigger do, darling. They were sending me into orbit. You know, come to think of it, I have a feeling she thinks they are. <laughs> Oh, yes. Uh, three bottles of pills for travel sickness, please. Three? Oh, it's for Mrs Sharples. I don't want her to cause any trouble on the aeroplane. There we are. Pills, travel sickness. Three boxes. And a, a packet of mint umbugs to take away the taste. Anything further, madam? Uh, no, not from here. I'm going to treat her to a new pair of bed socks in case they have cold nights. She used to wear her Alfred's footballing socks when she were married, you know. Oh, all right. He used to call her Billy Meredith. <laughs> there we are, mint and bugs. I'm going to a tea party this afternoon. Oh, yes, well, that's pills, boxes. Mrs three. Sharpers has invited Mr mint Tatlock mint. and me. It's a proper Six. knife and fork, do boiled ham and tin peaches. Oh, Peaches, love, now, would you like a tin? Because we have some very nice ones oh, coming here, no. sir. she's got some that she had from Christmas. But oh. she says if I get weepy, I'll only get bread and water. Oh, and of course, she doesn't mean it. It's only her way. And I mean, well, I shan't get weepy because, well, she's only going to be away for three weeks. And I've got Bobby. I shan't be lonely. Oh, don't forget the change, Mrs Caldwell. <laughs> I'm very happy for her sake. To tell you the truth, I'm quite cheerful. Dennis, don't mind the doors. Have some respect for the hinges. You go for chips, she says laughingly, while I set the table. Well, me to most of the papers. I'll save washing up. They're hot, though. Well, stick them in the oven. I'm busy. Hey. What about that, then? Hey, that's a cigarette later. lighter made out of a bullet case. We used to make them when we were on music munitions. Dead crafty. Oh, well, it never did work. Where are you going? Nowhere. What are you packing up for? I'm not. I know. You're going selling shoelaces from door to door with your turban on. Hmm. Well, that might come in useful if you're lighting a fire tonight. What is it? My marriage lines. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's some pictures here of our Linda when she was in the Whitworks. Lovely. Oh, I could start a flipping museum here with the rubbish I've got. Hey, what do you know? No. This is an advertisement to join the Women's Land Army. I nearly did, I know. Thank you, Brian Inglis. Oh, she could find it. Well, what would you ask you what it is? Our cheddar. That photo of Larry. Who? Me sergeant from Nebraska to show to Tom. Hey, what's this then? What were you doing on manoeuvres with the entire Army Air Force? Now, he's on there somewhere, but I'm blowed if I know which one even now. I think that's him. Giving Dorothy Greenhouse a piggyback. That's never Dorothy Greenhouse. Well, it's 20 years ago. Well, if that's Dorothy Greenhouse, which is you? That's me, there in the middle. The one with the nylon stockings, the black market nylons, the wedge heels. Hey, just to think that we thought square shoulders were so smart. That's a blonde. Well. By crikey, eh? No holds barred. Eat your chips. Is he all right? Oh. Who? Oh, we're not exactly swamped with customers, are we? Oh. He seems happy enough. He's probably thinking. What about? No, how the heck should I know? Foreign affairs. He's asleep. Well, he's been working hard this morning. It burns up a lot of mental energy, you know, counting milk bottles. Rather beautiful in a way, isn't it? Like a great big tomcat over a saucer of cream. I'm resting my eyes. Oh, he's got extrasensory perception. You need him at one and ten a pint. Hey, what's up with you, lad? Huh? You've got her worried. And when she's worried, I'm the one that suffers. Yeah, there's no sleeping with that woman. I beg your pardon? Ah, Hilda. Have another wink of sleep all night. That's not the tale we heard. Grunting and groaning, grinding her teeth, talking in her sleep. What about? Do you know a fella called Amos? Amos Burke? Are you a local fella? No, he's on telly. A detective-like. Oh, I'll be him then. She was muttering about him all night. Right, well, will you nod off again? Go oh. on. Mm -hmm. We like it nice and quiet. Can I, Eckers? Like, what do you think I am? A flipping soup kitchen? Well, I only ask. Flipping liberty taker. Give us a couple of pints, Charlie. Hello, Charlie. Oh. On the borrow again. Oh, well, not really. 
How much did you ask for? A ton of the sound of it. No, I just asked if I could come round to his place for tea this afternoon. Oh, you've seen him eat, haven't you? Nuff said. The only fella I know that can do double egg and chips at five in the morning. <laughs> oh, once, though. Only once. Never. Yeah, a little back street cafe near Euston Station. When we when we got off the train, well, like, you know, when it's Wembley. Only a bit of tea you want, you're quite welcome to, uh... W welcome to what? To, uh, well, uh, is Mrs. Caldwell making you none? No, she's living it up with her mate across the road. Oh, you better come and walk in with us, then. We'll try and nobble our elder into making Mrs. a great Gold, big... Oh, thank you, We'll try and nobble our elder into making a great big what? <laughs> uh, hot pot for tea, love. Oh, you've had it, lad. We're not on teas today. Our elder's having a few hours sleep on our elder's sofa. Sorry, mate. Try Euston Station. All right, I'll risk a few broken plates. Do you like mixed grill? Oh, thanks, Len. I said, do you like mixed grill? Oh, I do. I, oh, you can't whack it, I do, I. Uh, with sausages. And eggs. And a bit of steak. And kidney. Oh, I love it. Good. We're having kippers. Everything's all right, is it? it it's all properly organised. Yep. Vaccination certificate, visa, plane tickets. And at just about, oh, 4.30 tomorrow afternoon, Great Aunt Ina hits town. What town? New York. Oh, and you leave about one? About then, yes. Well, uh, does it only take three and a half hours? No, no, it takes eight hours, but we turn the clocks back on the way. Oh. <laughs> you don't know what he's talking about, do you? Oh, I do, Ina. My dad used to have his clock set for places like Honolulu and that. It, you know, they all have different times in different parts of the world. Yeah, I know. Oh. Oh, but do you know why? No. Oh, well, there you are, you see. Why? Do you or some of Oh, that were a nice bit of boiled ham, Ina. Right, well, help yourself to tea and parking. That's the last you'll be able to catch for three weeks. Oh, uh, Auntie Ina? She's started. Now, you've been very good up to now. Don't spoil your record. You know, this is very, very, very nice parking, this is, you know. It, this didn't come out of no packet. Look, uh... Aunt Ina made it herself. Now, why don't you try just a little piece for me? Look, how do you fancy coming and see me off tomorrow? Where? At the aerodrome, you crate egg. Oh, but, but I might go and spoil my record. Well, it'd be a ride out for you. Come in taxi. Oh, thank you, Ina. I'm feeling better. Oh, I'll get it. You eat your parking, you're the visitor. No, she's right, you know. Sit yourself down. Oh. Oh, I do apologise most profusely. I, I didn't realise you were dining. By the way, it's a very good piece of time in that. Have a cup of tea. Oh, thank you. Here. Good afternoon, yeah, everyone. Yes, thank you. More in the tin. I didn't intend to disturb you. I, I just wanted to say bon voyage, as it were, in, in case I don't see you in the morning. Thank you very much. It's all terribly exciting, isn't it? Yes, it certainly is. Isn't that right? It'll be a funny day, I know that. And just think. This time tomorrow, while we're here, you'll be in New York. Shh! You'll set up off again. Are you all right, love? Hey, Minnie! I've just been thinking, if I'm going all that way in the taxi, can I have some of your travel sickness pills? <laughs> Sorry, Elsie, but like I said, there are an awful lot of XGIs in Nebraska. What, mothers walk through that door? <laughs> I'm afraid so. <laughs> Not saying so much. Sorry. Eh, hey, I suppose it's better go in the backyard with the rest of the rubbish. Sad when you think of it, isn't it? No, how do you mean? Twenty years afterwards, all that's left of me war effort. Three purple arts, two Popeye pennants and four cat badges, all shoved in the midden with the broken eggshells and the wet tea leaves. Well, that's life, I guess. It's mine, I suppose. Morning. Oh, morning. Good morning. Yeah, turned to me, but I did that just like old times. What did? Even a Yankee accent in the kitchen. There you are. What did I tell you? Uh, will you sit down and have a cup of tea with us, love? Oh, no, no, thanks. You're going off to work soon, aren't you? Oh, it's all right. Lord Mucky hasn't had his breakfast yet. Oh, all right. Thank you. You know, I wish I could have found that photo, really. I looked high up and low down for it. I had everything up, including the oil cloth in the front room. What front room? Our front room. Oh! 
Oh, have we got one? Dennis, lovey, if you wish to show yourself up, kindly don't do it when we've got company. Well, it's just that it's so long since I've been in it, you know, you forget. Mother, what's all this floating on top of this milk? It's got things in it. Vitamins, it'll do you good. Oh. Hey, look, it's only the cream off the milk. Drink it. He's right, you know, really. We are daft. We fall over each other's feet in here. We've got a smashing front room in there we never use. Well, why don't you knock the wall down? You will. Well, take it out. Then you'll have a room twice the size, won't you? Open planning. Right. Yes. Very good idea. Forget it. Great thinking, Thomas. It's not a bad idea. It's that it's all the go in the States, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, there's quite a bit. Dennis, Dennis, me eight and eleven penny wallpaper. It wouldn't take long to knock this down. It's not a bad Will idea Will you get off to work now? Yeah, all right. Well, uh, I'll keep that in mind. Right. I love it. Will you go and catch your aeroplane? For of all the suggestions that your countrymen have made in this room, that could turn out to be the most dangerous. There's enough trouble in the world as it is. I'm just spreading a little happiness as I go along. Well, not in this direction, you're not. What do you want besides affection? I want 20 fags before she grabs me. Oh. There's only young potatoes, isn't there? <laughs> well, he's not my strong point, unfortunately. <laughs> You've been attended to, lad. Hello, Denny. Yes, I'm afraid so. Oh, it's like a flipping marriage bureau in here, isn't it? You want some fags? Well, serve the gentleman, Alexandria. You can give him the benefit of your sparkling smile after shop hours. Uh, no, it, it, it's all right. I think I'll be going. Good morning. Well, what about your cigarettes, Danny? Uh, I'm thinking of stopping. Oh, you are witty. <laughs> but I've got them for you. No, I don't think I'll bother, love. It's just for something to uh, do on the bus. You know, I can always chew me bus ticket or blow on the window pane and mm. draw figures, you know, things like that. <laughs> Would you like me to come to the bus stop with you, Dennis? Then you won't be lonely. Oh, no, I never get lonely, you see. No, I talk to myself, have little chats, discussions. Of course he's likely to go to the bus stop. He was just saying that before we come in. It's just that, you see, he's a bit nervous of asking you, like. Oh. <laughs> you mustn't be shy, Dennis. Especially after we get married. Oh, anything I can get you, Miss Hewitt? Uh, no, thank you. I was just watching. Ah. Hurry up with them port mantas and watch that carpet. It's loose. What did you say? Never mind now. It's less beer and more eggs you need, my lad. What have you got in there? You're flipping harmonium or something? I'll put your slippers in here in case your bunions give you a chip right. on the aeroplane. Look what all the rush is about. Your taxi's not due for 20 minutes. I like to make my farewells with the milk stout in my hand. You mean you want those lugging up to Rovers? Yes, I do. And then lugging back again when the taxi comes? Well, unless you like to wave him down at the Rovers. No, mm. What have I got in there? Well, I've counted of tea, your James Bond, your slippers, pills, mint humbugs and six hankies. Why, have I got six noses or something? No, Wiener, it's in case you get overcome when we say ta -ra. And how many have you got in? A dozen. Right, well, let me think. Gas off, electric off, water off, we'll stop the milk and the papers. And I'll come in twice a week and air your bed for you. Right, well, wagons ho, I believe is the term. Let's be going, come on. Oh, aren't you going to say to her out of the house? I always do when I go away. Something like everybody else around here. It'd be glad to see the back of me. Oh, we Not you, you. Know. don't get your handkerchief out. Anyhow. Go on, carry on, I'll follow you after. There you are, lad. There you go. Thank you, sir. Well, what's the damage? Well, it... well, I'm afraid no. it's 14 and 8 pence altogether. That's including my cherry brandy and Mrs. Ogden's creme de menthe. Ah, yeah. cheers, love. Thanks very much. You can yes. come again. Thank you. Cheers, 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 everyone. Cheers, all the best. Mate. Hey, now, remember that. Don't get her anywhere near President Johnson. We don't want any trouble. I'll tell you what you can do. You can fix it up with Cassius Clay. Now, that would be worth getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning for. <laughs> you have no idea, any of you. You don't want to send Ina Sharples back. Send Jane Mansfield. Thank you, Len Fairclough. I wondered how long it would be before a very pleasant conversation deteriorated to its usual regrettable level. Oh, I don't know. You, you, all you want to do is get her in there, you know. 
Supping all those milk stouts in there, marvellous. You know, you never know. You might get me showing my face in a bit more for a start. Well, you don't do so bad as it is, do you? No, it doesn't, yeah. does <laughs> that, uh, that was rum and pep. While it lasted. Yeah. Kiki beggar. I want an engine of those. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Aye, aye, here oh, she is oh. herself, the British ambassador. You got a flipping hat on, I know. Are you ready now? Yes, well, my stomach's settled, but two milk stouts. Uh... Hey, what do you call them over there? What do we call who? These people on the right side of the bar. Oh, bartender. Two milk stouts bartender. And a pint for Moaning Emma there. Uh, Don't have a good time. Enjoy yourself. Tara. Oh, stand up, Jen. Can't you give somebody a lift without playing for sympathy? And sit up in that chair. Okay. Are you having them in the stub, Mrs. Sharples? No, I'll be sociable. I've stuck it this long. I can stand another five minutes. Oh, well, well you, you yeah. put your handkerchief away. Here's the other taxi, It's here. too early. Where is it, outside? It's outside the vestry. Oh, flipping it. Give us a hand with these, Charlie, will you? Oh, sorry, lad. Uh, union rules. Not while I'm boozing. Uh, Lose me love. Come through. Uh, Come yeah. through to the living room. Thank Bye bye, Tom. Bye -bye. Try have a swing in time, Mr. Sharp. Thank you, Lester. And what are you doing home at this time, anyway? I were on my way to the library, but I'm starving. Glenn? Hey, give us a hand, will you? You are. Give us a hand, will you? I can't hear a word you say, mate. Albert! No, oh, no, I'm busy. Oh. Come on. Yeah. I'll open the door for you. <laughs> <laughs> Marvellous. Well, ta-da. Have a good oh, time. Oh, oh, hey, Mr. Sharples, what about your bottles? Oh, sling them over. You give us a bottle opener, will you? We'll give the taxi fella something to talk about. There you are, on the house. Thank you very much. Well, ta da. Ta -da. Oh, enjoy You behave yourselves while I've gone, or I won't bring you no sticks of rock back. Ta da, you have to. Ta da. And don't eat anything too rich. No. Go round to Tatlock's if you want to talk. To yes, Ina. And get Charlie to take you to the pictures once or twice. Yes, Ina. Oh, and I'll uh, donkey stone your step for you when I do mine. Right, thank you. And I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll send me a dress. Well, I may not have anything to write. Oh, but I shall want to know how you are. Yes, Ina. Right. Well, uh, to how many? To Ina. And I hope you have a lovely holiday. I hope you have the time of your life. To our love. I'm washing iron it for you. <laughs> Go and get in your taxi for you catch gold. You've got no sense at all. in for safety. Thank you, Mrs. Caldwell. Oh, and I did try to hurry. Ten miles an hour I went. Oh, it's that fast? I was stuck behind a pantechnic and all the way through Withenshaw. Would you like a lift back? Oh, yes, I would. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, excuse me, sir. I'm going to ride back with my friends. Right, yeah, Mrs. Uh, oh, you'll want a bit of the fare back then. I'm doing very well, aren't I? Hold on, you're going to do even better. Oh. You've got the coppers to come back off these as well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> darling. Oh, I don't believe it. Right, Mr. Sharples, I'll 
quite old, but don't dawdle in the bar, especially when these particular gentlemen are having a heated discussion about cricket. Great. Hey, uh, who's oh, Uncle Lund on the phone to? I don't know, Lund. The operator just asked to speak to Mr. Fairclough. Uh, Why? Why, well, just give me a daft look as I was coming along. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, have you got your milk float with you? No, love. Why? Oh, I was hoping to catch a lift to the library. See you. Hey, Lucille! You are? You want it? Pardon, dear. Pardon? You want it on the phone, a fella? Is it Roger? Could be. Hey, hold on a bit. If it's Roger, why did he want to speak to you? Hey, and what's he phoning long distance for? Who said he was, Roger? Fill that up, will you, Jim? Oh, why, who was it? Oh, well, like I said, a fella. He wants to talk to you two after he's had a natter with her as well. Not Roger's father. Your turn, Jack. The headmaster. Uh... It's his dad! He's on the phone! He's in Liverpool! Get away! He's catching the train! He's coming to see me! <laughs> 